Yeah, okay, bricks. And today on the table, we have set number 75934, Dilophosaurus on the loose. So yeah, before anyone goes down in the comments and starts um, ranting about, this was not in the movie. Like, by that I mean Jurassic World of the Lost, uh, sorry, The Fallen Kingdom. Um, no, this is actually a sequel to a prequel which Lego and I'm pretty sure Cartoon Network made. It's pretty much just an animated Lego TV show. Um, we used the um, Fallen Kingdom Lego set to make a prequel to the um, first Jurassic World movie or the Jurassic World Lego mini movie. Or something like that. I don't know. This is just a prequel to a uh, no, a sequel to a prequel. And we made sets for it. So yeah, that aside, the first thing I'm thinking about is I'll probably you all or something thinking about. What on earth is this? And I'm about to explain. So this thing here. Well, it's it, 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 it's a drone looking thing for propellers on extended arm things and it's been driven by Owen and yes it's probably like the weirdest thing Lego has ever made but like Lego is one for making weird vehicles and oh well this is something from the TV show I don't know what it is I haven't watched it so I can't tell if Lego just made this up for a set or what but anyway it's a drone quad net shooter thing now, this is a new net shooting feature, which they made with um, existing bricks. I don't know why they changed it, because they actually made like a new uh, piece for it. So you stuff the net in the um, engine turbine, there's a technic pin and some pieces there. Do that, and voila! Should, sorry, that's probably like the best one yet. Um, but yeah, net is the new style of net. It's round, it's the new style, it's like not very... The old one was like, um, kind of more looking like a fishing net, this one's... And me like that, like, and they all want knots in it, but yeah, and that's that. In that, the build itself, you know, it's it's pretty nice. It's built around one massive turbine piece, and if you like lift up these pieces here, you can kind of see that. Um, got um, starboard and on our side, yeah, got two different colors, you know, the angel lights. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a quad bike, but like it's weird the way they, they have to lie down to drive it but oh well um yeah it's a pretty it's a pretty nice vehicle you know it's interesting but like i also am a bit annoyed that lego's still doing these weird vehicles but oh well it's um interesting and futuristic so here we have the souvenir stand now this is honestly quite nice this would do for anyone's Jurassic world setup or um uh a setup for a theme park except on the common sun sign. So this is like a nice easter egg. Um, see it's common sun sign? That is the silhouette of the Dominus Rex, which is obviously um, in the first Jurassic World movie. So yeah, that back there. So that's pretty nice. Um, let me put that in there. Um, this, um, I've got like three, um, one by, uh, two by two um, tiles here with stickers on them. To, um, they have nice souvenirs posters, I don't know. It's a map of Isla Nubla and um, that Jurassic World happens on, Jurassic Park. Isla Sauna is the other one from Jurassic um, Park 2 and 3, I'm pretty sure. Um, and here is Jurassic, I can't tell if that's a Jurassic Park or Jurassic World, but yeah, classic little Lego sign there. And a nice just piece of artwork there. And then you also get two big pieces of popcorn here. So yeah, that, that's that's quite nice. And um, you get two hats here, nice brown one, and this cream one here. No, this could be a nice little Easter egg back to um, that scene in Jurassic Park where um, trying to get to the park, I'm pretty sure it is. And um, uh, the man goes and tries to shoot the raptors. And he puts it on his hat on the log, and then uh, the raptor comes and says, "A clever girl." Um, I don't know. Well, that, that just reminded me of that guy's hat because it's same color and same style. And yeah, this is a sticker here. All these things are stickers. There's no prints. 
um, except for the popcorn. The popcorn is very good. Yeah, and obviously the tosses. So yeah, a gift shop. That's quite nice little up, up there. Um, if you wanted, you could have like the like you know the like, piano from my Super Mario 64. You could have like that with this. <laughs> By the way, um, yeah, you can close that. That's that's quite nice. Um, and in the back you have uh, speed in nice um, think, um, light silver and um, you have a brush there. Yeah. And now to look at the um, Dilophosaurus. So this is the Dilophosaurus. Um, this is actually a new Dilophosaurus design. They did have an old one which used the raptor body, um, normal legs and uh, T-Rex arms pretty sure. Plus um, Dilophosaurus head. Um, but this one here, this is like all one piece except from the jaw which you can take off because then you have to be flexible. Um, but the cool thing with this is it's dual molded. The, all this um, kind of creamy brown colour is like a rubber style piece. And then the um, on the dark cocky green is um, it's a nice um, hard plastic which you usually use for the dinosaurs. So yeah, dual molded, rubber and non rubber. It's it's better for scale if I can get a main figure here. It's um it's closer to the scale of um block sauce, but less posable. But yeah, it, it it works pretty good and I'm happy with that design. I don't have a old one to um to show you, but I can get a raptor to show you. So yeah, that's the size of a raptor. Um I suppose a raptor should probably be the size, but I doubt that leg was gonna um, sacrifice the classic raptor size for that but yeah it's pretty nice it's time to look at the minifigures and the parts so here's owen and once again i do apologize but the background as i already said the um the white screen is in use so yeah um he's got the normal chris pratt face i'm so glad that i changed it between um um the winter soldier face so glad they got that sort of back um his torso is like the young jaw um um, body warmer type thing with the shirt. He's got the gun holster on his belt. Pretty nice print and all that. Um, camera's not focusing today. And then Chris Potter with um, double face there. So sure. this Ramden kid is called Hudson Hopper. I have no idea. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, also my minifigure stand is also in use. So yeah, um, he's got a Jurassic World um, top underneath his ja jacket, which is actually very cool. And his jacket is also Jurassic World merch. So yeah, um, he's got um, pretty good um, cut, um, long yellow um, minifigure face type thing, like, you know. Um, I'm, I don't know if I've seen this one before. Nah, and this is just um, a normal, like I said, this is just a normal. What they usually do for kids or like every two any figures um, is they use like Lego City and pieces but like get rid of the yellow colour. So yeah, that's quite nice for him. It's got pretty nice printing and um, not very detailed but like you know, normal things like that. Then we have a poor worker. Um, so she's also rubber based, so um, kind of neutral and screwed. I don't know. Um, she's got dual molded um, hat and hair piece, and her shirt, or her uniform, it's me and bed too, and yeah, it's quite, it's quite detailed, and then you've got the Jurassic World logo on the back, I'm playing um, royal blue um, uh, trousers. Well, that's all from me, that's all from the team, goodbye from LK Bricks.